This is, oh, let me put this here. This is day two. This is day two of the blue monochrome, monochrome, monochrome. Mm, it's a little early for me. Monochrome collage um, piece. It's a three-day thing, and you are going to come out with a beautiful blue or another color of your choice monochrome uh, collage. So before we get started and, let, and do uh, jump into what we're going to do today, let me tell you that whatever you do in, in the three days that we're doing this, please put hashtag art with the Dell monochrome because that way we can all share what we're doing and um, have inspiration from everybody. So this is what we're doing today. We are going to do collage papers. Now, I just did these a couple days ago with one color. And yes, this looks green, but I really use blue. Um, with just ultramarine, black, white, and orange, because orange is the complement to blue, and it's going to desaturate it. So we won't just have saturated colors. But look at these that I did just on printer paper. I did let's see, solid colors, because I knew after going through and doing the collages that there were a lot of solids, but I also like patterns. So I made sure I did some patterns. Let me put this aside because I want to show you what I did before. Now you can do stencils, you can do stamps, you can do whatever you want. I use stamps like food, using food as stamps. Um, I also use just a couple of extra um, markers like here's what I used. I used colored pencil and crayons in this colored pencil and crayons. Now today I'm going to add some oil pastels and just some basic watercolor because I'm just trying to get as many collect as much as many papers with as many colors with as many ideas as possible knowing that I won't use them all. So I did a lot of, um, you don't think to have a lot of solid colors, but I did because I observed what I did before on the collages. So let's put these aside and I'm going to go through what we did yesterday. We made these collages. Let me take this out of here. I put them already in my binder. Okay. Already put them in my binder and look how many I have. I love this. Okay. So. I'm putting this over here. This is one of the ones I made yesterday. I just love it. Um, this is one of the ones I made yesterday. And I'm going to go through, before we start the papers, I'm going to go through these and all the colors to basically really observe before and, and take note of what I want to include in the collage papers that we're going to paint today. I want to be able to... Um, do dark blues, light blues. Um, I wanted to also remember to do blue on white background. Um, and then not worried about the shapes because that's tomorrow when we start cutting them up. But that was important. Same here, blue on white background, different color blues, patterns. That was important. Here's another one, patterns, stripes. So you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. Because when I start painting, so I'm going to do um, text. I'm going to just write text, um, pattern. That way I just don't even have to think about it. Pattern, um, different values. Let's see what else. And plain, just plain. So, so far, let's see. Yeah, light value, different values. So there's text, pattern different values, and plain color, plain color. Okay, now what's in here? Um, and besides patterns, like these are patterns, these are patterns. Oh, stripes, I want to put stripes because I love stripes. Um, let's see. And just like something, an interesting shape, interesting shape, interesting shape. Okay. See, that's why we did these to show you and observe what you did that you like. So when we're painting the collage papers, we'll do some of that. Um, this is the shapes. Don't look at the shapes now because that's for tomorrow. But light, dark, um, yeah, 
this is the the beige on white and then the white on beige so in far as text i'm gonna do or pattern i want to remember that to do both okay anything new in here okay we did stripes different um oh saturated and desaturated saturated that's with all that desaturated and i don't know about you but if i have these written down I don't have to think so much <laughs> when I'm mixing the paint because I want to just figure out mixing the paint and then I look here. I always do this. It just helps me. And these are whites. Um, I think it has all these things we think we've got in each of these. Again, the shapes don't matter as much. A variety of, um, you know, different desaturated, saturated, all um, stripes, interesting shapes, like scallops. I'm going to put that so that we don't get it confused with cutting shapes like scallops. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, this is white on yellow. This is white on black. Patterns. Texture. Okay. I think we've gotten most of it. Oh, large shapes. I'm going to do that too. A large shape on white background, on white background. Okay, let me move this over. Okay, so that's what we have here. See, by going through the ones that you did, you're gonna be able to, it's gonna help you learn kind of what you wanna do when we come for today. So I'm gonna put these aside and let me show you what else we are gonna do. I wanna show you what's coming up. So today we're gonna paint as many papers as you can. And, um, and then I'm going to go through this book in just a minute, but I want to show you also tomorrow, once we, oh, this is a book that we're going to make the tomorrow make, think about what substrate you want to put the collage papers on to either cut or make, you know, to cut or tear or whatever it is you're going to do, um, for tomorrow, because you can do it on something like this. This is a just um, a panel, a canvas panel, so it's thin, and you can also put it in a frame afterwards, or you can just do some, uh, put it on watercolor paper, so you can frame it after. Um, you could just do these as studies if you want, and not think of the final product or you know put doing anything. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do for tomorrow. But I'm thinking about all that for today, and also we're going to have so many papers. And so I basically took one piece of paper, let me show you, one of the papers that I really liked, and I just used it as a cover. Again, all this is just printer paper, not anything fancy. You can use any paper you want. And then I love grid paper, but you could do plain white printer paper or something else or watercolor paper. And I just made this into a journal book. Now, if you wanna learn how to do this, take a look at my YouTube, um, I have several, I think five or six videos that show exactly what I did to make these books. So, cause I'm not gonna show you how to make the books. So before we get started, again, the inspiration, you look for inspiration and ideas first, so you know where to start. But I made this book, um, it's called One Color Painting. I titled it One Color Painting, but really it's monochrome. Um, and I made this book um, online and I show in my Art with Adele Academy exactly step-by-step step how I did this. But this is one color painting where each piece, so basically this is monochrome. Here's one with purple, yellows. And look, this is just, look how few there are in this painting. And they're just like the shapes. It's all about the shapes and one darker and one lighter value. This has a lot more layers. So just observe, there's so many things that you can do with monochrome. These are just stripes. Um, these are, this is just layered effect with yellow. Look at this, this is mostly yellow with just a few other very cool shapes on top. Yellow, this is a wonderful piece too. And it's just yellow with different shades of yellow um, in a more structured way. This one is wonderful. Look at it in one of the home magazines and it's just one color, but it's just with line. So I'm going to try to do that with, um, it in, on the papers today. Same thing with this. I just want to show you all the things you can do. You can look at Pinterest, which is where I got these ideas. These are not 
my paintings. This is ideas I got on Pinterest. Um, so reds, look at the different reds. Look how many different paintings you can do, whether they're collage or not. It's just easier to do collage, and I love collage, so we're doing collage on this. But look at this. This is just one painting with pinks and reds and whites with a variety of value, um, but the same kind of theme, a lot, a medium amount, and a little, in threes. They look simple, but look how fabulous. It's, this is about design and composition when you're only gonna do one painting, I mean one color. I love this because they have the filled in shapes and then they just have the outline of a shape together, contrast and variety. Here are some blues, just giving you ideas and giving myself ideas. <laughs> but look, I mean, we have tons of ideas already. I love this. I put this on the front of the book because this was just a piece and I'm going to show you I would like to do some of this tomorrow where we have one piece that we do different things to and we just cut it up and rearrange it it's this is like construct deconstruct so this one is just the blue background with shapes on it and look at this I love this because the simple I love simplicity but if to get simplicity that has depth and elegance is more of a challenge. So they did the dark underneath and then did a variety of white or off-white color with big and small and different kind of strokes on here, which make it fascinating. Here's this, here's this. So I'm just gonna go through, look at the, just that you did one and then they went over the whole thing with a different kind of blue. Here are some whites, if you'd like whites, which I love. And how do you get white on white? Um, well, it's by texture usually. There's a washiness in here. There's some, and then the opposite here where there's some dots here. This is just with the different shapes cut up and fit in. Remember, think puzzle. Look at these, this has texture. So when you do just one color, sometimes you just want some texture. Um, some greens. This is again, the construct, deconstruct. Look how fabulous. Okay. I don't know about you, but I am so ready to get started painting. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I have just some printer paper. So whatever, however many I have, I'm going to try to do that. And then let's see. So I'm going to start with one and I just want to show you, this is what I have out here to work with. I have cobalt blue. I just put all the blues from the heavy body because Sometimes most everybody just has the heavy body. So I have the cobalt blue, a cerulean blue, um, an ultramarine blue, a black and white and orange. I have orange over here because that's the complement. Uh, I'm not going to use ultramarine in this one in today's because all these papers were made just with ultramarine and white and orange and black. So I'm not going to do this one, but I'm going to use these. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to put all these out here because I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. And before I start on a plain one, I had an idea with like the plain, this is plain, this is plain, but I'm going to put something on top of just the plain. See, and um, so what am I, oh, let me just put this out. So here we've got black, just a little bit of black because you want different variety, um, variety of variety of values. Uh, ah, I have to use my teeth to open that. I wonder my teeth is a bit. Okay, this is cerulean. Let's just start with cerulean. Let's just do one at a time. I'm gonna start with cerulean, and then I'm gonna put cobalt um, over here, because I can use cobalt later. So where do we start? And this is Titan White, but I got this. This is a big one. Um, I have a huge, big um, gallon of white, so I'm gonna use that. And I think I'm going to do something on both of these. So once you do one pass of these, I'm going to do something. What did I, oh, large shape. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a white. Let's see, I have some water here, some paper. I'm going to do a white with a big line all around it. That's what we did. That's what I saw on one of those that struck me. Kind of like this. So I'm just going to do on one whole piece like go around like this and I'm twisting. When I do this, I kind of twist it. 
I learned this when I was a draftsman. Um, you have to twist your pencil, go off the page, kind of go back over it. And we're going to be tearing these up or we might be using it just like this. So what else? I'm going to go over here, go off the page. Again, just like yesterday, <laughs> when it's kind of addicting to just go do those, um, all the wonderful magazine things, this is too. Because once you have a stack of papers, it's really hard to just leave them plain. You want to do something with them. So I have to make sure that I do something plain. But I just, I couldn't help myself. This is what we're going to do. So I'm going to keep putting the white on. So remember, it was, it was like the text, white on blue and then blue on white. So I'm going to go down here, come back up here, and come back here. So let's see. There. So I'm going to put that aside to dry. And do I want anything with this? This looks like it could be. This is wonderful texture, but I kind of want to do something on here. And I'm not sure what, but I think what I might do is do like um, blue blue on blue, just a different value of, um, I like the same color, but different values, one on top of another. So I'm going to do that. And let's see, this is just water. I think I'm going to just do dots. How about that? And not only that, if you don't use all these collage papers, make sure you go to the edge because it makes it's just really wonderful to go to the edge. It makes it way more interesting. But anyway, if you have a ton of collage papers, um, if you do any collage, which I do a lot of collage, then you're going to want to have tons of these extra papers. So once you get started with this, don't stop. Just spend the whole day or as much time as you can continuing because you'll have all this. It's so much harder to just get everything out and do it, but I'm trying to do a variety. Anyway, there you go. That makes it more interesting. I'm going to put that aside to dry. So I think that's all I'm going to... Oh, I know. This was bothering me because it looked greener. So I'm not going to do the green. I'm just going to do this bright blue, and I'm going to go over it. I'm just going to go over this. Yeah. With stripes. I did the stripe. And you can do this too. If you do a color and you don't like it and you want to have it, you know, some other way, just do this. And uh, they're thick. And remember, think in threes where these are thick lines. We can do one with thin lines, which is what I did here. And then just one with medium lines. Yeah, I like this better because that green was bothering me. I wanted to scream blue. Yes, you can have a blue green. You can really <laughs> have anything you want. You are the artist. You are the designer. So just go for it. But I wanted to do this because otherwise I wouldn't, I know myself, I wouldn't have used this because it was like, eh, that's green. That makes a big difference. And look at the different colors. So now, okay, those are three that I redid before I got started. Now let me wipe these off. And we're going to get started with this. And we're just going to do tons and tons of these papers. So let's see. What am I going to do with the first one? I think what I might try is I'm going to use the um, an oil pastel and do this, just kind of a pattern up and down. And then I'm going to go over it with watercolor, which I love. And I'm going to probably fill the whole page because of this. I noticed, let me show you. Oh, I put them down here. Oh, look at this. I noticed that for this, um, a lot of them went across. Some of the things, see like this, it went all the way across. And this is eight inches. And this is eight inches. But if we did one that was, um, so eight and a half inches. So this will fit like this. See if we want something all the way across. If you want something up and down, you're going to need, it's 10 inches. So I wanted to make sure that I had it. I'm going to do more. This is what I learned. I'm going to do more of the full pages. Um, so let's see. Maybe over here. Here. And really, don't make this serious. Just have fun with it. because. And, and the other thing that's really fun, too, is if you do something like this, don't do it like once. Just say, okay, I'm going to do this blue like this three different ways. If you think of three different ways, then three of everything or odd numbers are is much better. So now I'm going to use some blue in here. Let me see. Um, whoops, nope, not that. 
I need a flat brush. Here we go. So let's see, what blue? I'm gonna do a light blue. Let's do this light blue. Okay. I like the combination of the dark and the light. If I have too much water on it, then it's lighter. And let me put a little bit of this on. Okay. See, I have a tendency, I don't know about you, but it's like once I get started on this, I want to keep going and going. So I have a lot of them, just like I did with the cutouts on the magazines. I just kept going and going and going. And now I've got over 20 of those things. Okay. I love this look. And I'm using a couple of just, all these are basic materials that you might have. If you have um, like Posca pens or gouache or something else like that, go for it. Use those. But some for I wanted to do it this way because there are many people who don't have a whole big supply of things. And so I wanted to um, show you this. Plus, if you're ever traveling or on a vacation, it's so easy to just bring small, a small amount of these with printer paper. Now I'm going to put this aside to dry. Okay, let's see. There's that. Now, what's next? Just on to the next one. I'm going to try to see um, large shape on white background. Okay, so I'm going to do the blue. Let's see, what am I going to do with the blue? A large shape... I'm going to do a one of these. I'm going to do a round, and I'm going to put some white in here. I kind of wanted that one that I saw, the black and white, was fairly strong. So I'm going to do um, a, a, a very bright or rather dark value. Look, here's where the kind of green is. So this cobalt is looking kind of green. Okay, that's desaturated. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to just do this. I'm just going to do a shape like this and fill it in. See, you're going to go through a lot of these. Okay, here's one big shape. How about another one? I'll do one up here. Okay, and then I'll do one at the bottom. You probably need a whole stack of these. Um, and I'm going to do something that is different. See? This is a little different, but I love going to the edge. All right, let's see. Keep going. Not only that, nothing is more fun than just mixing color. Nothing is more fun. So here we go to the three shapes. Or just shapes. Okay. Let's put that down to dry. So you see how this is really helpful. Um, let's see. So let me wipe the, this off. I always wipe off whatever I'm working on. This is just butcher block paper on a folding table. So uh, you can do this stuff anywhere. So what else do I do? Um, I'm going to, this is what gave me the idea. Look, remember this one? This had just different shapes in here. And then we, we tore it, they tore it up and deconstructed it. So I'm basically going to do... Um, shapes, let's see, but I'm going to use a different color. Let's see. So, all right, so different shapes. How about a dark? A dark against the light. So I'm going to put some black. Oh, this is a gorgeous color. And maybe just a little bit of, just a little bit of the white. All this is the cobalt. No, the cerulean. What did I use? I don't even remember. One of those two. So I'm going to add more of this. And I'm going to basically do, just thinking of shapes, like fill this in like a puzzle. Okay. Then we're going to cut it out. Just going off the top of my head here. Not thinking of anything, but I know that We'll see what that looks like. And if, if you do one of these and you just like, Ugh, really hate it, okay, just do something else with it. Okay, let's do something like that. Can't wait to see once we tear this apart what it looks like. And then how about just some 
and just like this. Shapes. It's fun to think of shapes. Okay. And this, I'm just going to do a dot. Because we're going to tear it up. And what am I going to do down here? I think I'm going to do one like that. Um, thinking on the spot. Okay, one like this. So I'm going to end up tomorrow just tearing this up. This might just be one, one piece. You know, one, once I cut all this up, once I deconstruct this, it may end up being just one collage all in itself. So how about this? I'm going to do this, kind of follow this line. Okay. So we're going to have the dark against the light. And we got the light against the dark. Contrast, variety, important to remember. Okay. You're just going to build up and build up and build up. Now, let's see what else. Let's see what else. I'm just going to keep going on until I run out of paper here. So now, desaturated, desaturated, text. What if we did text? That means I have to have a small um, blue on white. Let's see. How about if I do, you know, I think I'm going to put, was this cobalt? I have to try it. Oh, goodness. No, it was cerulean. I'm sorry. I still have to. No, you can tell. Okay, so that's cobalt. Cobalt. And what I usually do so I don't get confused is the one I use, I put right above it. Oh, and this is another thing we're going to do. These are like stamps that you can use as like stamping. Let's do that. This is just um, <laughs> ice cream, southern pecan, southern butter pecan. This is just from having our tomatoes, save that. This is from the top of hummus, which we eat about 10 of these a day. And this is the top to um, some, some, I think, tonic water. So that's how I got these. That's how I got these. So let's see. So do we want to do the, um, oh, text. Let's do the text since we did that. Let's do the text. And what are we going to do? We're going to do a different one. That's going to be the, this is going to be the cobalt. And we can always mix them, the two blues too. Once you have all this, it doesn't matter what blues you have. It's just, do you like the color? So what color, this is cool. Look how green that is compared to this. But we still use it, it's just desaturated. So you know cerulean blue desaturated is going to give you a greenish blue. So I'm going to do just kind of lines or text like this. It's not going to really be anything, but just kind of lines, and it looks like text. Um, kind of like hieroglyphics or a semic writing, you know? But I'm going to fill the page because you might want to use it in a bunch of different things. So it's really not text, but it's like instead of ABC, or you can do that. Let's see. B, C. Yeah. Okay. My grandkids love having their their initials. G H. Okay. So you can do it either way. Just lots of different ways. H I J. Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure I have at least ever all of these. J, K, L, M. Looks like we probably won't be able to finish the whole alphabet on here, but that's okay. And I'm going to purposely kind of go to the edge here. Um, the more we have to choose from, the better. Not only that, you may have so many that you could create Q, R, Q, R S. Wait, I can only think of one thing at a time. Um, you might have, okay, that's it for this one. You might have a whole series that you can do with these because you've made so many. Okay, so we did the alphabet, different values, stripes, but right now we're going to use some of these. We're going to use, um, 
Let's do... I did this already. That doesn't mean I can't do it again, but I'm, I'm curious as to what this is going to look like. So I am going to... Let's see. Here's the water. I'm going to paint this and then use like repeated patterns. But... I'm gonna mix the blues. Let's just mix, start mixing what we have here. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of black. For some reason, I love, black added to these is so fabulous to me. Okay, a little bit more. And add some water. So this is what I'm gonna do. I mean, this might bomb. I haven't done this one before. Let's see, is that too much water? Is that not? Love it. Okay, that worked. And it's a big shape rather than a small shape. So I can, I'm gonna leave a, oops. Actually, <laughs> that was kind of an accident. It went down before I could put it down. Okay. Okay, now what? Do I want it lined up? You could do one paper lined up and one paper not. See how you can, oh, I love that. And this one, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this. I am gonna put it just on this side because when I turn it over here, I like to come to the very edge. I do not want this to be um, not used. So I'm gonna do it again here. Okay, let's see, do that again here. Okay, now I'm gonna keep going to finish the page. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna definitely be using this again. I can tell. And I really didn't know. I wanted something big. I just opened my refrigerator and said, what can I use? And these were the things that we had in there, or the recycle. I did the recycle. I went through the recycle to, to do this. Okay, there we go. So there's that. I'm gonna put, rub this off so it can dry and reuse that one for sure. And what else, if you cut like peppers, apples, cucumbers, anything like that, you can actually use that as a stencil. So it's all, it's all what you have. I like using what you have. Now, later, I'm gonna to have to do all plain um, papers because I hardly have any of those. So let's see what else. What else do we have? Um, okay, now let's try some of this again. These are big circles. So what do we want? I'm gonna get another, um, for this, I'm gonna do something really light. I'm gonna just mix everything we have here because I need something Really like so I'm gonna go like this. I'm like, I don't I don't know if they're this or this. Overlapping circles. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So let me add some more water. Let's see what happens. My favorite line. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Now do we want to overlap it? One I can overlap it, one not. Okay. Okay, see how fabulous. So much fun. I hope you all, if you're not doing it yourself during this live, I hope so much that you do it afterwards and follow me and just do more and more and more because the more you do, the more paintings you're gonna come out with when we finally do the paintings. Okay, here, let's see what else. Oh, and just to let you know while I'm doing this, I always love to do lives and give tutorials right before I open my academy again, the Art with Adele Academy. Look at that. I'm gonna do one of these. Now the Art with Adele Academy is gonna open on Monday the 24th. Let me put this over here. Okay, so you, if you aren't a member already, you definitely want to be. You just pay attention to all the information I'm going to give you, but it is really fabulous, 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 fabulous. So um, 
let's see, I'll tell you more about that later, but I get so into the painting part. All right, let's see. I'm not very good at the marketing part because I'm not a marketer. I just like, I want to share everything. And so that's what I do in the academy. So we've done a lot of these. What don't we have? We have a lot of the same. We don't have a lot of different patterns, stripes, interlocking shape. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like scallops. Let's do that. I'm gonna do that with a really dark, actually, I'm gonna do it really dark, a dark value. Let's see. It's gonna look black, but it's really not. Oh, that is gorgeous. Once you start mixing all the colors on your palette, it's a great way to get color harmony. Anything you put on, whatever you're painting, always looks good together. Um, and I'm just going to outline it first and see. I like scallops like that. I don't know whether I want to... Um, and then I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to do something different with each one. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do just little ones. Again, just shapes. And I remember I saw that. That's why it gives me ideas. To come up with an idea just out of your head, and you can do that, and I do that quite often, but having these ideas and inspiration at the ready and then write them down is just the best. Okay? And another thing I'm going to do is do another straight, thin line here. I remember seeing this on one of the collage papers where they had that above. So... Continuing with this, what do I want to do? Do I want to do more scallops or do I want to do open circles? After this, we're going to be coloring the whole painting with one color because we've done a lot of these on white, like patterns on white. Um, let's see what else. All right. This is all paint that is thick like to go off the page makes it more interesting so look at we have a couple of, of them in here so once you do a color you can make tons of different ones and you can continue like if you wanted to or good idea okay so we've got this I'm gonna put this aside all right now I really like that so what I'm gonna do is let's see I'm gonna color one of these whole things with this color, whatever this color is. Just fill in the whole page. And it doesn't have to be like all solid. It can be, some can be washed, some can be thinner, some can be, there are no rules to anything. And if you think you have rules, throw them out the window <laughs> because rules make things just too not fun. Look how much more interesting it is doing this. A little bit more water to make it go all the way down. I mean, this, you can fill up the solids and you can either keep them solid because we're gonna want more solids than you think, or later, once it dries, you can do a pattern on it. But I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna do a couple more solids. Oh, whoops, hold on. There, it fell over on itself. Okay, I only have a few left of these. So let's just say, let's do another solid, and I'm gonna put a little bit of the desaturation, and look how it makes it green. That's because it makes it green because the yellow, the blue, and then the, this orange is yellow and red. And so when you put yellow with the blue, it's gonna turn it green. Let's see. We did the dark one. Maybe we do the light one now. Lighter. Pretty color. So you're just going to keep having lots and lots of color on here. And every time you mix something, it's going to be different. That's why I like just mixing all the colors that are on my palette. All right, let's put this up here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I can't wait to see... See, I can't wait to see what we're going to do tomorrow, um, when we're going to cut all these. We're going to put them all out and cut. I'm going to have a whole series. I am going to have a whole series, and I hope you do too. 
So here's this one. Okay. Now, once they dry, I have to tell you, they might curl, mine curled. So what I did is I just spray painted the back of a couple of them and put them under overnight. I just put them under a really heavy book and then they got flat. So plain stripes, oh, maybe scallops, large shape. I think we've done all of this. Pattern, different values, plain color. So now that we've covered this, is there anything, I don't know, I haven't done, like these are just crayons. And I'm just gonna put a semic writing, which I do this in all my paintings, where you just, a semic means that it doesn't read or mean anything. It's just kind of lines that are look like handwriting and you wanna read it, but it really doesn't. And I love this. And I have to say, on some of the, look how simple and quick. Some of these, um, so here we go. I'll have like three or four more of these papers. And I can't wait. The best thing is coming in tomorrow morning when everything's dry and just loving seeing what I have. What do I have here? Oh, I think I'll use one of the, um, I'm going to do a thick stripe. This is a uh, oil pastel. I'm gonna do the stripes, just across. Now remember, this is how the paper is, so these are gonna be across. If you wanna have the long ones, well, they're all different. You have to start, um, you can always do more after, to, after you start cutting them up and tearing it. You're like, oh, I wish I had some of this that was a different direction. And you can do that now if you want. I go all the way to the end. So there we go. Um, is there anything else? Let's see. Okay, well, I haven't used this yet. I might do inter interlocking shapes with this and maybe not the whole page. Let's just, let's just do this. See, once you've done it, you can become freer, I think, with the other ones. With the last ones, you're like, well, okay. Let's use some more stamps. What do we have here? Okay. Okay, these are thinner. I like that. Okay. Okay, let me do this. And these are just all from Recycle. Go through your Recycle. I love it because it's like a gold mine. And I'm going to do this. And yes, my fingers are getting in it totally good. Anything, anything you do is good. Because it's going to leave some interesting marks on there. And we won't know till we start ripping everything up. Okay. So there, we use that. Let me wipe this off. Because I probably want to use that again. Keep all these. You don't need to go buy stencils or stamps. You can make them. All right, we got that. Let me put this away. Woo! So we have a lot of patterns. We have a lot of patterns. I think what I need to do more of is um, solids. So what I'm going to do now is mix solids and do half and half. Half at the top and half at the bottom. And I'm going to do some really light ones. Because I don't know if I have really light ones. Like barely light. So, ugh. That's not even light enough, but that's okay. So I'm gonna just do this at the top. Okay, and then the bottom, let me wipe this off. I'm gonna take the white down here and put a little bit of this in here and do a different value. Mix that all around. Okay. I need a little bit more water. Okay. And you can do this with fluids, um, fluid paints. I happen to do just heavy body because I thought I always do fluids and I want to show those people who don't have fluids that you can just, fluid paints that you can do it with your heavy body and what to do. You just add more water. 
So there we go. Oh, okay, so half and half of that. Ugh. Now, let's keep going. <laughs> I hope you don't get bored, and I hope you keep joining me. We have, what, how many? One, two, three left. Three left. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, um, I used this on one of the other ones, and it really worked. I just, like, did this. Use a, um, kind of like just brought it down and it's not exactly painted. So use other things to paint with besides your paintbrush. Just brought it down. And I love how some of it catches and some of it doesn't. Okay. You're trying to get as mm, the biggest variety possible. I mean, and look how little time, hardly any time doing all these. Okay, now we have two more. And then we're going to be finished with these papers and just um, tomorrow we get to put it together and make a painting. So what else? What else? I think what I'll do is maybe, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do something like I'm just going to swirl, okay? Look, this is just like this. I just took it from, you see me going from the palette, just making a shape. Okay. I don't want it too thick. This is very light, but you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so when I take that and just, uh, it, it turns out it's almost like covering the whole thing, but okay. That's what it is, but but not in a very uniformed way. Let's put it that way. So this is going to give like texture. Okay. All solid. Okay. One left. Our last one. What are we going to do? Last one. Oh, wait, look. We've got to take this. That white was heavy. And look how fabulous these are. Look, let me show you. Look at this. And um, I am going to cut this out, and I'm going to use this. <laughs> you can use this in your, in your collage. You'll see. So now what? See, uh, all these. And we just use cobalt, cerulean. Um, and you, get to know, you just get to know the colors really well. I'm going to use black. Let's see, I wanna do something with blue black. Blue black. What should I do, what should I do? Should I add a teeny tiny bit of white? Color mixing is my favorite. Okay, I like this. I think what I'm gonna do is do big stripes down like this. Look at this, awesome. Okay. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit in between. Stripes, you can make them exact. You can make them kind of organic like this. I personally love edges that are not perfection. Not like drawn in. Although, when, when, you, when you have that in contrast to this, like where is that? Um, oh, I can't find. Where is that? Oh, here, look, look. This in combination with this is striking. So I should probably do, I don't have any more paint, uh, paper, but I should probably do another small thin line because I can see that that really adds a lot. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm going to make these a little closer together so that the line, the white, watch this. And again, we're going to tear, so we have no idea what we're going to see and what we're not going to see tomorrow. But I just want like to have a little bit of line there. Not a lot. Looks like I'm going to need a lot more water. Like that. Like that. And then just fill in here. I like that. Yep. That's a yes. Go close. And then fill it in. Yep, 
Cool. Okay. Let me just fill this in. That's really cool. I like that. Okay. That is the end of that. Um, uh, let me see. So I think that's all we have for today. I hope you have tons of papers. We're going to, tomorrow, I want you to be prepared. Day three of the blue monochrome. I want you to be prepared to have whatever it is you're going to tear on or put on this. Um, or the paper, this is a 10 inch. So I forgot, I really was talking about the eight inch, but that's okay. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Things seem like this. And what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna tear it. We're gonna do all kinds of things like this tomorrow. Um, and we're just going to overlap it. We can reuse this. This is a construct, deconstruct. Who knows what we'll do. We're just going to play and have fun with this tomorrow. So that's, okay, I better stop. But <laughs> you can see how it doesn't take much to have a wonderful blue collage, collage, monop monochrome. Anyway, thanks for joining, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>